2015 was a milestone for Singapore, with many celebrations enlivening the city throughout the year. Tourism turned in a mixed performance for 2015, with visitor arrivals up, but tourism receipts down. While we faced significant headwinds, we remained a vibrant leisure destination. Singapore also received numerous accolades. We continued our pursuit of quality tourism, intensifying marketing efforts, enhancing destination attractiveness, maintaining industry competitiveness and engaging local residents. On the marketing front, we intensified our efforts to reach a wide audience. A series of marketing campaigns were launched. Marketing efforts were ramped up in seven key markets. A $20 million Golden Jubilee campaign was also launched in seven countries from May onwards. We forged partnerships with key travel trade and content and digital players. Back in Singapore, we continued to enhance our destination attractiveness. Existing attractions were revitalised and new ones launched. New, exciting hotel concepts opened in 2015. The events calendar brought back perennial favourites, as well as some refreshed acts. Some events saw good attendance by both local and international visitors. We raised further awareness of Singapore talents and culture in some key initiatives and festivals. Singapore was recognised as the number one cruise port in Asia. On the BT Mice front, we saw a strong lineup of events in 2015, forged new partnerships and clinched significant wins. To hone Singapore's industry competitiveness further, we unveiled a slew of initiatives. Two main initiatives were launched for the hotel industry. To support the creation of innovative tourism experiences, we leveraged existing grant schemes and launched a new one. We also worked with travel agents and tourist guides to develop new itineraries for visitors to experience Singapore. To upskill tourist guides, STB, the Workforce Development Agency and the Employment and Employability Institute unveiled an extensive plan. We helped strengthen capabilities of the mice industry and tourism-related associations. We also took local engagement and advocacy further. Singapore Inside Out, a travelling showcase, put the international spotlight on Singapore's creative scene. Another initiative, Singapore Invites, was launched in 13 markets. Many shared their love for Singapore, and we received entries from Russia to Vietnam to the UK. To further enhance the attractiveness of the destination, there's a pipeline of projects ahead. What is there not to love about Singapore? I love the hawker centers. Clean and beautiful, and everything is so new and modern. It's beautiful, the weather is wonderful, the people are very nice. Our local music scene is just bursting with so many new and uh, inspiring talent and there's something going on in Singapore. For 2016, we forecast a growth range of 0 to 2% for tourism receipts and 0 to 3% for visitor arrivals. We look forward to welcoming more visitors to Singapore. <laughs>